Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Desmond here, the Rise Share Whisperer, coming to bring you a brand new video today to help you make more money while you're out there doing Uber and Lyft, guys. Today's video is about airports. Are airport trips financially beneficial to you guys? And to answer that question, guys, it's kind of a... <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a it's kind of a loaded answer guys um and the reason why I say this is because international airports more so than regional airports and let me explain to you what I'm talking about guys when you um when you're doing Uber or Lyft and you're going to an airport um if you're at an airport that's not busy <laughs> you may tend to wait you may tend to wait around a lot for a request for people going from that airport if you're at an airport that's very busy you still may tend to wait around a lot before you get a request leaving that airport now i guess you're saying desmond so what the heck are you saying all right guys it's like this now where i'm at i'm in i'm in columbia south carolina and our airport here, uh, which is Columbia Metropolitan Airport, it is not an international airport. It's a regional airport, guys. I mean, it, it, we have three terminals, you know. So the likelihood of me being able to have a financially great day <laughs> going out to our airport to wait for airport runs is slim to none. I mean, you have some few days because you do have people that come in for, because we do have Fort Jackson here, so you have a lot of people that come in uh, to see soldiers graduate because Fort Jackson is basically a training facility for the United States Army. So people do come in here, you know, they're coming in on uh, Wednesdays or Tuesdays and Wednesdays uh, to see soldiers graduate on Thursday and then they're flying back out. But even with that being said, it's still a small airport. It's still only it's still only three airlines Delta American and whatever the other one is Delta American and something else I can't remember the other one is uh, either way that's not important what's important here is there is not a great demand for airline pickup at the airport and yet every time I go out there because I'm taking somebody to the airport, I see people all the time. I, I, in the daytime, there's like a fleet of cars just sitting out there in the parking lot um, for Uber or Lyft, and they're just sitting out there. And a lot of times, the people who um, the drivers they're congregating together, they're sitting down having kumbaya moments, having sodas and chips and whatever else, and just hanging out. And every time I ride by them, dropping somebody off, I'm just sitting there looking at them like, "Wow, you guys are really just not making any money." You just have no idea that you're just sitting here in this queue because the Uber and Lyft algorithm for the airport is very nasty. They they literally tell you, OK, if there's a trip available, we will let you know and we will keep you in the queue. When reality is you go you go get in that queue, you are excluded from trips anywhere else in the city, guys. So you are missing out on money. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I've known situation. I don't know. I was just looking at my watch, my my Apple Watch. I'm doing something crazy just now. But I've been I've been actually in situations going to the airport to drop somebody off, and I get a request for somebody leaving the airport, <laughs> and the parking lot's full of cars sitting in the queue waiting for a request for people to leave the airport, and they're not making any money. I don't get it. You know. There is absolutely no reason at a regional airport that you should be sitting there waiting on requests. Because here's the thing. If there's no one in the queue at the airport and there's people who are requesting to leave the airport to go somewhere, guess what Uber and Lyft is going to do? Their algorithm is going to shift to send that request out to someone in the city. <laughs> so essentially... Those who choose to go sit out there and wait for a request to come in from the airport, which is like one of the deadest airports you can sit at in South Carolina, you are leaving so much money on the table. You really are. And that's the reason why you will never ever see me go sit over in the satellite parking lot at Columbia Metropolitan Airport waiting for trips because there's no trips out there. I would actually leave out of that area just so I can get right outside of the airport's algorithm and wait for the next trip request to come into me there. And guess what? If there's somebody at the airport that needs to leave there, 
I still can get those requests also if there's nobody in the queue. So, guys, you're essentially just leaving money on the table. Now, for those people who are in major cities, international airports, yeah, it is definitely worth it unless there is an exorbitant amount of people sitting in the queue. And now, I've never personally experienced this because I don't live in an area where there's an international airport, but I have seen situations as reading blogs and different things where people... They even complain about sometimes going out there and they can be sitting at the airport for hours on end waiting for a request for somebody leaving to go somewhere. That's not smart at all, guys. If you are sitting for more than 30 minutes at the airport, you're taking a loss because they're not paying you to sit there. You're only going to get paid when you start driving a body somewhere else. So why do it? And like I said, especially for me where I'm at here in... In South Carolina, in Columbia, where we have a regional airport, I'm never, ever <laughs> sitting at the airport. Because what's the point in me waiting two, two and a half hours to take one trip and that person may be driving. And people say, oh, it's a great trip. But yeah, they're going 30 minutes away. And then you make 26 bucks off of it, 25 bucks off of it, 21 bucks off of it. Meanwhile, that person who didn't sit at the airport has been getting requests left and right all day long and they've made three times the amount that you've made sitting at the airport now i mean i it's great to have kumbaya moments if you want to meet other people that's in the same industry as you are that's cool and all me personally i'm in it for the money i don't know anybody else in my city that does ride share personally i really don't because i go out to make my money and i go home and that's the mentality you should have also because you are an independent contractor and in your your game is to make as much money as possible doing ride share in a short amount of times guys once again, like I said, that's the reason why I made over $50,000 doing Uber and Lyft part-time last year. Because I don't waste my time, guys. So, like I said, once again, airport trips, if you're sitting for a long period of time, get out of the queue. Because when you're in that queue, it literally traps you off from the rest of the world. If it's moving and popping, okay, cool. But definitely, that's only for international airports. Regional airports, eh, no there's no even no need to sit out there and of course no one's gonna everybody's not gonna listen to this video and think i'm crazy but when your pay reflects that you're not making any money because you're just sitting there eating chips and dips and soda and getting unhealthy food because you're sitting there not making any money you will understand what i'm saying so guys if this video helps you out and gives you and sheds better light on how to handle airport in the queue and that nasty algorithm they set up to keep you trapped there make sure you give me a thumbs up on this video also click the subscribe button on my channel so that you can get updates when i upload new content to my youtube channel and better yet man while you're hitting the subscribe button click on the bell in the bottom right corner so you can get an email directly in your inbox every single time i put out new content guys like i said this is desmond the ride share whisperer and for everybody out there that's looking to start driving for uber and lyft right below this video in the description i actually have my links to you can get signed up to get started and the reason why you want to sign up with someone who's already doing uber or lyft because when you take so many trips they will actually give you a bonus for signing up through another person versus going directly to the corporate also if you guys are already driving for uber or lyft and you sign up directly through corporate and you want to see if you can still get that bonus those links in the description click on those use the same information you used to originally get signed up with it and hey you may still get the bonus as well guys it's worth the try anyhow guys that's all the time i have for the day now guys I, like i said once again guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was very informational to you and i hope it brings you much success like i said desmond the ride share whisperer i'm out peace see you next time